Hi, this is Darcy from The Bonnie Spot, and I'm here today to share with you my June favorites, which will include skincare items, um, a few beauty products, and a fragrance. To start off, I'd like to share with you the fragrance. Um, it's called Nirvana Rose by Elizabeth and James. It launched in 2016 alongside another fragrance. Um, and I really like this one because I do enjoy rose scents, but it's not your uh, typical scent. It's a reinvention, uh, to say, of a rose fragrance because it's dark, sultry, warm, and spicy. Um, and I, I really enjoy it because I I can wear it at night, but I feel I don't, it doesn't feel like too uh, strong and overpowering to wear throughout the day. And I, I, I'm wearing it fairly often. It's my go-to scent this month. And um, I think it has notes of uh, rose de mai, vetiver, and geranium. And when you first spray it on, um, it definitely has that woodsy quality coming from the vetiver. But once your body mi chemistry mixes with it, the fragrance, it settles down and it's just really a nice warm spicy rose. That's just the best way I can put it. Um, the next item I'm going to share with you is the Fashion Waves by Redken. Um, it's a texturized sea spray and um, I, I believe there's a little moisture in it. Um, it smells like beach in a bottle, sun, sand, and sunscreen. And so I really like it. And um, so this, the scent is great, but um, why I really like it is because it's really light textured. It's a medium hold. So um, and my hair still feels light, but it still gives it some really great waves. And even when I um, I just kind of have my hair wet and, and I just apply only that, a lot of air dry, I find my hair dries well. It has a really odd wavy texture as you can see. and it actually kind of controls a little better and I can find myself not really having to blow dry, which is great being a mom of a two-year-old. Um, so I definitely recommend this. I, I usually use it um, when I'm, um, after I've like my, dried my hair and I'm curling it and then I kind of spray it in for more texture to kind of create more loose uh, beachy waves. I love everything about this um, except for the name. It's kind of cheesy, Fashion Waves. Um, it's an 8.5 ounce bottle, so it, it, and I find that the cost compared to other, um, I guess, sea sprays, it's comparable, if not like on the cheaper side. So not only do I like the product, the price point is on um, on par with everything else. So moving on to skincare, I really like Origin products overall, um, and this one is called Checks and Balances. It's a frothy face wash. It smells just like spearmint. It's I don't want to open it because I think it has some water from my daughter um, playing with it. But it has, um, it, it says that it is a gentle face wash that cleanses both dry and oily places without canceling each other out. And I can definitely tell that, that it does that because I do have a mixture of dry spots and oily spots along the T-zone. And this really kind of does even it out when I get done taking a shower. I use this in the shower and when I come out, I just feel my face feels like really refreshed. Take the day off. It's a cleansing balm. Um, by Clinique and I really like it. I think it's won a lot of awards. It's made with I believe grapefruit oil. Um, it's a mixture between, it feels like when you put it on, it's a mixture between um, a oil and I know Vaseline, I know it's probably not a good description, but it's like an organic kind of feeling like um, petroleum jelly, but it's it feels really great and when you take it off and you don't feel like um, Unlike an oil one, it, you don't feel like you have to wash your face off afterwards. Um, so I really like that. And then another Clinique product that I have, it's an oldie but a goodie. It's, an, it's the Quick Eyeliner for Eyes, and I have it in soft black. Um, I have it in all colors, but I've been using soft black lately. And I like this one a lot because it just goes on so smooth, um, which is key for me on uh, eyeliners. And it just kind of just, as you see, just kind of easy glide, um, soft color. And I don't feel like I'm like creating wrinkles. Moving on to my next one, it's uh, also another eye product. It's called Goof Proof Eyebrow Pencil, and um, it's by Benefits. I have used a few Benefit products before in, in a variety of eye pencils, and I do. I, I, I've been using this one a lot because it's just easy. I think it's, it has a lot to do with the the app, the applicator and the shape of it. It just kind of easily um, to use, and the color doesn't come off like. And like it's not really it's just blends well one and I think the color when you put it on it doesn't 
it's not really thick. It's nice light strokes. It comes off nicely. So it's even, I guess that's what I'm trying to say. So I like it a lot. And the brush is um, pretty amazing on the other end. Um, it's thick and it's really um, kind of moves. I have really thin eyebrow hair. And so I can tell it's really hard to kind of um, capture it and make it move a different direction with some of the, um, the brushes. But this one is really easy to move it up. So it's easy for me to create that under uh, line to kind of create the shape of my brow. So I really like that product. So my next product is a Velvet Lip Glide um, in Unglassed by NARS. Um, I have it on right now. Um, it's it's like it's like a lip gloss lipstick. It's like a it comes in a tube like a lip gloss, but um, it's I guess a color int intensity of color. Um, it's like a lipstick, and it's it kind of wears like it's um, a lipstick too. And it just uh, it's nice because it's smooth and light like a lip gloss. So. But not tacky like a lip gloss. It's creamy like a lipstick. So it's really cool uh, product. I, I like it a lot. The color's great, kind of natural color. And the only thing I have to say that uh, about this product is that it kind of wears down a little bit. But I don't mind reapplying. And after it does kind of wear off, my lips are looking thick and plump. So who hates uh, nice thick and plump lips? So my last two products are Marc Jacob products from his beauty line. And this um, particular item that I have right here is a highlighter, highlighter eye gel crayon. And this color is Peridot, and I love his um, eyeliners. I have a few of them in different colors, but I've been using um, Peridot a lot. If you could see, let's see, let me do this real fast. It is pretty cool. The application is amazing. It's really smooth. And it's just fun. I like to, I don't want to waste it, but I just like, it's soft, it's creamy, and it, it's, the color is intense, and it stays, it's waterproof, and it stays on forever. And I just, I mean, and, and it, it, but it still blends, like, you can still blend it, but then it will set after a little while. Um, so it, it's really easy to use, and they have amazing colors, and the highlighter ones just have, like, a lot of um, glimmer to it. And of course, I love glimmer, so um, I've been using this color like crazy. I use it um, on top of, a, like, original, like, I, I can use it on top of this Clinique one, and it really glides well, and I can blend it and create a new color. Or I um, use it sometimes underneath on my eyes, well, all the time underneath my eyes, um, and I really like it. So the last item I have is Marc Jacobs uh, Mascara. It's called um, Velvet Noir Major Volume um, Mascara, and this is... The holy grail of mascara it gives me length and i only need really one application but i like to just kind of just if i have time give two but really all you need is one and i just i don't know i just like that's my eyelashes with no falsies i don't know um this application is really great too the app sorry the app the brush applicator is great it's shorter and then um it's kind of like an arch it's shorter on the middle so then that way you can just kind of like apply it and not have the little lines of like where the brush has hit the back of like the front of your eyelid so there you have it there are my june favorites um i hope you stay tuned to my blog see ya